Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is another UK mod showcase for Transport Fever 2. Got plenty to look at in this episode and we're starting with some buses. I did have a comment in the last video that there's no buses and I don't think the person was very happy. I can only do as much as I can do with these things. I just take a selection of the latest mods that have come out and try and feature as many as possible. I do try and be as fair as possible but I can't feature every single mod that comes out all of the time so we are featuring some buses and this is by dv64mlo not sure if i've said that right if it's supposed to spell something possibly but he is known on city skylines for his buses and his bus reskins and it's good to see some reskins being done for transport fever 2 the uh, there's got a couple well i think there's about four or five that he's done now and they you know he, he is known for doing really good quality UK bus skins and bus models I think as well uh, but this is actually a reskin this time the original model by Dadang uh, NGE game I'm gonna say in this instance I'm not sure but this is the Mercedes-Benz Citaro C2 uh, so you will need the original model for this to work but the original C2 comes out in about 2011 but these there's the different variants, these two ones that I'm going to feature today are available from about 2015, I think. So we've got this one here, which is, which one's this? The Diamond Northwest. And this one is a two-door variant. As you can see, they're two side doors. And then if we go over here, we have a another one, which is a three-door variant of the Sotaro. And this is the National Express West Midlands. As you can see there on the front, it is uh, yeah, it's just a nice skin. The model itself is nice to begin with, and the uh, the reskin itself is it's pretty good actually. So we do have a good selection of modern UK buses. I still don't think we've got many older ones. I think uh, from there are plenty from about 1996 onwards, but I don't think there are many earlier than that with British in the British variety. But it's good to see that there is now a good selection of. UK buses. What else have we got? We do have another bus by a different creator this time. Uh, this one is the Transport for London Volvo. Uh, Volvo. What are they? Volvo 5000s by Feline Instant. Again, another good UK British reskin of a of a bus. There are a few different variants of these as well. The two door. I think no, all of the Volvo 5000 come with the two doors, but there's a few different. There's a go ahead, and there's a stagecoach, and there's another different branded because basically what you get in London is you still have private operators operating the buses, but I think it's a stipulation if you want to work within central London that all your buses are the same colour with the Transport for London or the London Underground roundel on the side. So we'll head over if, into a depot if you can find some a one somewhere. And so we go to passenger. We first of all we'll look at the Staro. So we've got the Mercedes-Benz Staro C2. They've got different variants, and then we have going up here the Diamond Northwest and the London Midland. But there are others available uh, of the of these in different variations, basically. And then we've got all of the different variants of the Volvo bus with you know they've got first stage coach solo ratp metro line go ahead and just a standard volvo there so there we are i featured some buses and there has been a, st a spate of i'm not sure if spate's the right word but there has been a real kind of spate i'm going to use that word again <laughs> of buses being released onto the workshop uk buses recently so it's good to see uh, what we're going to look at next next is something a little bit different now this is an it's not an imaginary train but it was never built it is the class 381 available from 1994 uh, by young lennon now this is was supposed to be a semi high speed 110 miles per hour by mode for overhead and third rail unit which was supposed to have been built and it was going to operate on a variety of different routes out in and out of london basically as far as i'm aware on from reading the information on the steam workshop this one this particular one is in a virgin color i'm not sure if virgin were ever going to run these but they that's what we've got we've got a virgin livery there and the one that just passed us 
is a Network Southeast livery one as well. So this was supposed to be like a jack of all trades train, I guess. So, you know, a fairly decent top speed and op able to operate on a variety of different networks from third rail to overhead. Wouldn't say it's the most attractive train in the world. I think it's up there with the Darth Vader, isn't it? Definitely in terms of attractiveness. And there has been a lot of creative license because obviously these were never built, so there aren't any references, but it's still detailed enough. It's just that sad looking sad looking face it's not that's not the creator's fault though that was i guess how the design was supposed to look possibly with a little bit of creative license it almost looks like a dated class 700 a little tiny bit mixed in with a darth vader i'm not sure i can't remember what the number of the darth vader train was but yeah it's just an interesting train we'll take a look at it in the depot uh, it is an electrical multiple unit and is the class 381 we've got a generic which to me looks like the net uh what is it the national express east coast livery almost uh virgin trains capacity of 98 i think are they all yeah they're all the same aren't they power 2379 100 miles per hour top speed uh, track to 5, 345, capacity of 98 across those. So I think these were supposed to be like a semi-long distance, so they're not really high-capacity commuter trains. They are, I think they were supposed to be for semi-long distance routes. So yeah, just a, an interesting electrical multiple unit, I guess, to have if you want to use that. Uh, next we have, what do we have? We have some Class 150s. Actually, I should just say the 381. I know there is a livery pack that's been released for this as well but i haven't subscribed to it but there is a host i think there's a, an early virgin third so like the virgin west coast that was applied to the hsts the red and black there's a skin for that and there's a few other skins available as well already now we're looking at another reskin of the class 150 this time let's just have a look is this yeah it's got two, the two different variants so it's got the one with the the cab door connector and the one Without, this is a, a made up livery, but it, it looks really, really good actually. I think a little possibly even better than the actual real northern livery. But this fictional northern livery is by Hex, Hex Air, Hexide, Hexide, possibly, don't know. But yeah, and the original model, of course, by Young Lennon. But it is just a nice, nice, interesting fictional livery which brings together, I think, from the York, the West Yorkshire Passenger Transport Executive and Northern just brings a couple together to make a nice looking livery. We do have another 150 livery somewhere. Where are you? Where's he gone? He's disappeared. Uh, let's just take a look in... Have I, have I not put it on? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had. Now this one is another skin pack for the Class 150s. Some of them are real and some of them are... Uh, are fictional again well they're not fictional liveries but they've never been applied to the class 150 i'm not sure if this branding of the scott rail livery was ever applied to a class 150 i do know the class 150s did work on scott rail but i think they were taken off before this livery was ever a thing but the one on the back the london midland one i'm pretty sure did what was applied to the class 150s before they got replaced by the class 172s so there we've got a few different variations as well not just these two but i just particularly i wanted to pick these out because i think these are the most kind of realistic ones i guess of the liveries that are available in this pack not that there's anything particularly wrong with having fictional liveries i just prefer i prefer personally to have as much realism as possible but if we go to here we've got uh silver link london midland First, the first Great Western was already there, wasn't it? And the GMPT was already there. We've got London Midland, London Undergroove, London Undergroove, Underground, Network Southeast, and what else have we got? Southwest Trains, Southern Rail, Strathclyde, a couple of Strathclydes, and another Southwest Trains, and they are available pretty much, I think, across all of the different versions of the 150-1 and then the 150-2. There's a great Anglia as well, but you can't see that one. And then the, you will see, let's just take a look. So you've got the class 150-0 and then the 150-1 and dash 2 come with, so the dash 2 and the dash 1 come with the Northern, the Northern Rail fictional livery is what I'm trying to say there. And that's just, I think it's just the number of cars, isn't it? The difference between those, or is it? Maybe not, not sure. 
It'll be something to do with the cab connector, won't it? Yeah, <laughs> I'm guessing. So yeah, the again, the Class 150 reskin pack is by the original model by Young Lennon, uh, but the reskin itself has been done by 2 terabytes. And as always, all of the mods featured in this episode are in the UK Mod Showcase Steam collection, with a link to that in the description, which is always updated with any mods that I feature on this series, but... I think that's it for today. There are other mods that have come out, but there was just a few that I've overlooked that I wanted to take a look at. And obviously there's going to be another episode, hopefully next week or the week after. It just depends on time more than anything. All the number of mods are available. But I think I'm pretty much up to date with all the latest and most significant mods that are available on the workshop. If you are a mod creator and you would like a mod featured, then you can hit me up on the Discord or in the comments and I'll try my best to get round to uh, to featuring your mod. But as I say, it all just depends on the time I've got available, basically, and if the mod actually catches my eye in the first place. But I'm going to leave you with this Class 381, because I think this is particularly, uh, particularly interesting, let's say. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there for today. I'll say until next time, bye-bye.